on Chick Smooth. My man Chick Smooth is in here. Chicks, I want to be on Chick Smooth shit tomorrow. Cause you got Geppetto dangling Stephen A. Smith. I'm talking about dangling them. It's a different type of dangle right here. And it's during the time where sometimes you just gotta just chill. Sometimes you just gotta chill and you don't you don't say nothing. You don't got to say something all the time just because they gave you some money to talk. Now, we know Stephen A. Smith is a snake in the ground. We know dude is a snake in the ground. I know for a fact Stephen A. Smith is a snake in the ground. When Stephen A. Smith was a reporter... He used to get information from Larry Brown. And he used to write a source. Why you don't never reveal your source? If somebody says something, they should put their name on it or you shouldn't print it. And this dude will go and get stories from Larry Brown and create confusion in people's locker rooms. And it's not, I'm sure if it was in Side Larry Brown's locker room. I'm sure it was in other teams' locker rooms as well. And when you got dudes like this dude that's reporting the news, animated, ignoramus-style movement, talking crazy, loud, obnoxious, all of the words that you could use to describe and how this dude gets on TV and how he's speaking and talking. And now he's talking about a dude who has his own opinion about what he feels he should do with his body. Now, the confusing part is is that they let him do this. It's a reason why they let him do what it is that he's doing. Like, literally, you could talk about my basketball, what I did playing basketball, but we're talking about life right now. You're talking about a dude in a life situation during the pandemic and what he's supposed to do. How? Like, what gives you the right to speak and talk about what someone is doing? Spoken about the way how they're speaking about this guy, why? There, why is Kyrie the center of this all? Why is he the piece that is constantly being spoken about and talked about? Why nobody, why no one is speaking about that, about guys who feel the same way? Because he, because Kyrie's in the median market of the world and playing basketball in New York. So the machine is being fed by Kyrie Irving. That's why. It doesn't make any sense, and I get it. I understand, you know, that it's it's a rule. So now you're saying that you can't test players every day, every week, like how it was it happened before. And I'm not challenging or speaking and talking about the NBA. This don't got nothing to do with the NBA. This has to do with the preference as a player is speaking and talking about how he feels about taking. And and you don't know. <laughs> I'm I, I'm I'm confused about why people are against someone who feels strongly about what they put inside their bodies. It doesn't make any sense. And I say it again, I'm vaccinated. That's my choice. That's my decision to do that. It's not about that. It's not about that at all. It's about you got people like Stephen A. Smith who get on TV and make these stupid ass comments about a guy who has done things for human beings and trying to help human beings literally do something and changing their lives. Like 
not just being a philanthropist. I'm not even talking about just giving money, but giving real love, real inspiration, being a kind-hearted human being. Like, how do you call this guy selfish? Because of basketball? Are you serious? You got they got they got people so caught up in this game that they're forgetting about the life. <laughs> What happened to the life? What happened? Why isn't the life just as important as the NBA season getting ready to start? I don't get it. I don't get it. It doesn't make any sense. It's a real conversation about someone saying that they do not feel comfortable about like why wouldn't you why wouldn't you think twice about that? It doesn't make any sense. Now you got this puppet ass nigga, excuse my language, Stephen A. Stiff. You got this Geppetto got him dangling. They've been dangling this dude behind the scene for years. They finally say, okay, you can have a platform to say a little bit of what you want to say. Come on, man. It doesn't make any sense. Like, why? Why are you making it this? Why are you going at Kyrie Irving the way you're going at him? Who told you to do that? I want to know who told you to do that because I know somebody told you to do it. You're not just going at him, going at him like that. Mind you, a bunch of other media people have said what they said about him. But I want to know why you going at him like that. For what? What's the reason? There's no reason at all for you to be acting the way how you're acting towards him. It's ridiculous. It's sad. It's crazy sad. It's sad that you're going at this brother the way how you're going at him. All that he try to do to try to help us. And you going at him like like he did something to your to your wife or to your girl or something. Like it's personal. You 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 make it personal with the people who they tell you to make it personal with. You a snake. You a snake in the ground. That's what you are. You a snake in the ground. You a stool pigeon. You one of them dudes that sit on a stool, listen to what people talk about, and then you go talk about what they talked about. I'm not calling you an Uncle Tom. Geppetto. Geppetto is super alive. Super alive. And it doesn't make no sense. And I'm not saying Kyrie Irving is perfect. He submitted to him not being a perfect human being. No one is. I'm not. You not either, Stephen A. Smith. But the way how you speak and the way how you talk when you get up on TV, it's you can tell... It's starting, to, it's starting to look. Every time I see you on TV acting like an uh, ignoramus, every time I see this, it look like it's scripted now. It's like another part of the show. That's why you didn't want the dude on the show. Because he was keeping it 100. It's ridiculous, man. You going at this brother, making this, like... Got people speaking and talking about him in the craziest way. When this dude is nothing but love. You ain't gonna, I ain't gonna sit here and watch you try to disrespect love. Love is God. Dude is God body all day. And talk about what another brother is doing. A brother that's been helping heal souls, help people. Change people's lives. You want to try to break that down. That's what you want to break down. And you following it. Instead of you being like, yo, hold up. So you basically telling me you making... Like, did, did it ever... Did, did, did the thought ever occur to think about how he felt as a human being? Nah, you ain't think about how he felt as a human being. You're only thinking about, oh, he not going to be able to play with James Harden and KD. Come on. 
It's not going to stay. If he don't play with them, they're going to get somebody else. They trade people and take people all the time. It's not nothing. It's a business. It's a machine, man. You think it's not going to be another? It's going to be a Jordan, then Kobe, then LeBron, then Zion. It's going to keep going. It's never going to stop. They're not going to stop playing basketball. It's the 75th year. It's going to go on as long as people here. Basketball is going to go on. It ain't going to stop. They're going to make trillions and trillions and trillions of dollars. It's not going to stop. This is the real. This is the truth. You feel me? So I'm 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 more concerned about this dude feeling what he's feeling. You think he's not internalizing all of this hate because of a decision that he's making for himself and for his family? How can he not? But people don't care. You I'm so happy I can't be bullied by the internet. <laughs> It's a, it feels great. It feels great to just hear people speak and talk. Oh, yeah, okay, you talk. All right, so what? You want to gang up? But this dude is a young superstar internalizing all of this BS. You think he don't want to hoop? He don't want to win a championship? Why would he? Why would he want to hoop and play basketball and win another championship? He got a team like he got. But I think people forget. The baby's only two years old. 